Manipur observes Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day 2022. Chief Minister Nongthomban Pirin warns of extremists among bureaucrats. Congress leader Daikangam expresses confidence in Bharat Toro Yatra. Led by Rahul Gandhi will have great impact in upcoming 2024 general elections. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin distributes farm missionaries to farmers under submission on agricultural mechanization to urges farmers to utilize paddy fields to grow crops post paddy harvest. And people of 91 villages in Sugnu take out agitation at Sugnu Kaitel demanding status quo of their boundaries during delimitation. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English News. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your marks properly, and maintain a safe distance. And I'm Premi Thangjum, bringing you the news in details. Manipur joined the nation in holding Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day 2022 celebrations today. State level celebration of Rashtriya Ekta Divas commemorating the 147th birth anniversary of Iron Man of India, Sardar Balabhai Patel was held at the first Manipur Rifles Parade Ground. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirain presided over the Mars Pass contingent of BSF, CRPF and others and led the attendees in taking pledge on national unity at the solemn event. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Birin expressed satisfaction at the massive turnout of police and civil officers for the event. And Birin recalled that in a recent meeting with home ministers of various states, Prime Minister Narendra Modi urged all to be cautious of anti-social people among the bureaucrats apart from armed extremists. He lauded the contributions of Sardar Balabhai Patel and initiatives of the ruling government. He maintained that Manipur cannot progress until and unless all communities are united. Not only by insurgency and the terrorists, or leftists, nationalite, Sikangu, Nataba, Kolom, Pirate, Labour, Kangu, terrorists, Yauri section law. Prime Minister, this piece, young clearly, so we should be very careful. Masi kari tadi, tahu lagi noh hebat kan? Intellectual circle ni hebat kan? Civil organisation ni hebat kan? NGO ni hebat kan? International ki, China ada ki funding lor ga, Britain ada ki funding lor ga, Amerika ada ki funding lor ga. Human right ki mingda, India bu destabilised orang orang ba, Manipur bu destabilised orang orang ba ki port. Manu hebat kan? Honourable Prime Minister ku ya. District ki war orang da, khanar ga, community ya bagi war orang da. Macam ini, macam ini ki ngang ni raba, kongi ini kongi ki ngang ni re, naga ni naga ki ngang ni re, pangan ni pangan. Congress leader and former deputy chief minister Gai Kangam expresses confidence that the Bharat Joro Yatra from Kanyakumari del Jammu and Kashmir, led by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi with an aim to strengthen the unity of India, will have a great impact in the upcoming 2024 general elections. He was speaking on the sidelines of observance of 147th birth anniversary of Sardar Balabhai Patel and 38th death anniversary of former Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi at an event organized by Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee at Congress Bhavan in Imphal today. Gai Khangam said Congress initiated the Bharat Joro Yatra, raising the slogan that there can no social and religious divide in India. He said that the 3,570 kilometer Yatra is not a personal or party wasted Yatra, but a national movement and added that Rahul Gandhi has walked 1,200 kilometers in one month, so far out of the proposed five-month duration of the Yatra. 
Congress Legislature Party, CLP leader Okramibobi led MPCC members in paying floral tributes to the Iron Man of India, Sardar Bhalabhai Patel and former Prime Minister of India, late Indira Gandhi. Okramibobi appreciated the lead leaders for their contributions for a united India. Punjab Sinning Khat Tamneva Sikna Khalistan Lepa Ama Shem Nanava Tropu Madu Yaroe na Operation Blue Star and Indira Gandhi na Takai Vido Madugi Laman Kumbawa in a Haibitare Ma Masabu Naiba Magi Bodhi Gatuna Ma Kapaga Hatimni Mazati Gidam to the Baroti Apun Basaktam Se Kanam Tuna Singneva Yaroe Haidana Mount Lohi Vais Tendo Aduna Magi Mapunsi Tem Singna Giva Haibitare Okpagi Samagani Futare Laksuba Sadar Balabhai Patenzigi Ado Indira Zigina Lake Hirabigi Puntrani Palak Subala Hidavan Pognum in a say, Akoina, Congress Karmi Kudimana, Mohoi Mapanda, Makoina, Lake Park, Sikida Mutata Katokiba, Mayamado, Ning Sing Duna, Akoi, Aymanam, the Laymanam, the Osumo in the women do, Akoi, Kok Non Dunamado, Akoi, Pantok Sebani. Churchanpur District Congress Committee also observed the 147th birth anniversary of Sardar Balabhai Patel and 38th death anniversary of former Prime Minister. Indira Gandhi today. The event under the aegis of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee was held at the District Committee Office, Red Cross Road in Churchanpur. MPCC President K. Mekha Chandra, former Minister T. Manga and MPCC Social Media Department Chairman S. Malim Khomba attended the event. Speaking on the occasion, MPCC President K. Mekha Chandra revered the lead leaders for their contributions in building a united India. भारत की सदार बलवाई पर तेल है वैसे यामना भारत की इंटीग्रिटी हम सुमत हूँ ना फबलेवा की तरफ से कठोर की बात आज हम बलिदार मनी हाँ कि सुमत हूँ ना फबा हम दी कठोर की बात इंडिया की अकन बा यूनिटी सागलम बा आज हम बल विशेषमा वो इबसीना महागसी भारत की आयरन मेन ऑफ इंडिया है ना खंडन देना एक वो भारत की सुमा याम ना अफवा मापारी है मौई ना भारत सिंह बतूंग ना पक्तू ही भारत की प्राइम मिनिस्टर वो बीरम भी श्रीमती इंद्रा गांधी मटिंग ले बा मतों ना ले बा अधिक उम्बा मिपी लगते की याम ना कठोक पा हम सुन याम ना थोड़ा अफवा प्राइम मिनिस्टर रमनी Churchanpur District Administration observed Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day at Mini Secretariat Campus today. Unity run on the theme Unity, Integrity and Security of the Nation was also held to mark the occasion. Churchanpur, D.C., Harat Chandra, Orozu, DLOs and students attended the event. They also took a pledge on Unity Day. Along with the rest of the country, Rashtriya Ekta Devash National Unity Day, which marked the birth anniversary of Sardar Balabhai Patel, was also observed in Thaubal district today. Unity run was held and human chain was formed to mark the day. Thaubal DC, A. Subhas, IAS, Thaubal SP, Jogesh Chandra, Hobijam, IPS, Manipur Police personnel, staff of different departments, volunteers of NYK Thaubal and students of various colleges participated in the Unity run. Earlier, floral tributes were paid to Sardar Bhalabhai Patel, laid by Thaubal DC Subhas at Thaubal DC Complex. 
Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day was also observed at Ferzol district. As a part of the event, a unity run was organized in schools under ZEO Ferzol, ZEO Ferzol Hemchan. Yumnam said altogether 850 students from 16 different schools in the district participated in the unity run. Technopol District Administration also observed Rashtriya Ekta Divas at his district headquarter, Machi and Mori subdivision. Technopol DC Ranjan Yumnam flagged off Unity Run from Technopol District headquarter on the occasion. Officials of District Administration, Police Department, educational institutions, students, and locals took part in the run. After holding a cycle rally and bike rally for two consecutive days, 86th Battalion of CRPF Lumfell Path today concluded Rashtriya Ekta Divas celebration by organizing Run for Unity Pledge Taking Ceremony Unity Chain and March Past at Unit Headquarter in Lumfell Path. The celebration was supervised by Battalion Commandant Muhammad Yusuf under the ages of IG Manipur and Nagaland sector. He flagged off the 10 kilometer long run for unity from the unit headquarter and transfers through NIA office BRTF Rims Hospital Thangmaiban KV Lamphilpad before culminating at its initial point. IGAR South Headquarter also observed National Unity Day at Mantri Pukri garrisoned. Director General of Assam Rifles, Lieutenant General P.C. Nair, AVSM, YSM Inspector General Headquarter, IGAR South, Major General Ranjan Sarawat, along with Assam Rifles personnel and family members attended the program. A bike rally, Unity Run, along with pledge taking ceremony were held to mark the day. Central Bureau of Communication Regional Office Imphal observed one day integrated communication and outreach program in connection with National Unity Day 2022 today. The event was held at the office auditorium of Wang Kai Yonglan later in Imphal East District. Assistant Professor of Department of History, GP Women's College and Malim Sanba Maitai delivered a lecture on Iron Man of India, Sardar Balabhai Patel, on the occasion. Students of Wankai High School attended the program. Nehru Yuva Kendra Imphal West, under the aegis of Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, also observed National Unity Day. The event was observed in association with NSS Unit 1, 2 and 3 of Johnstone Higher Secondary School. Imphal West DC, K. Jadumani flagged off Unity Run from Kangla to mark the occasion. Bishnupur District Administration also observed Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day at the conference hall of Bishnupur Mini Secretariat Complex today. Bishnupur DC, Laurembam Bikram, DLOs and staff offered plural tribute to Sardar Balabhai Patel. Unity Run 40 was also jointly organized by Nehru Yuvakendra Bishnupur, CEO Zila Parishat and BDO EOs of Municipal Council. Chief Minister Nontomba Biren distributed farm equipments and 1,700 vehicles altogether worth around 29 crore 32 lakh rupees to farmers under government submission on agricultural mechanization swamp today. Department of Agriculture organized a distribution come demonstration program at City Convention Center in Palace Compound. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirain said that a subcommittee comprising of all the relevant departments will be formed to ensure that petty fields do not remain wasted post-harvest. He assured that necessary requirements well like irrigation and nano-fertilizers will be provided. He said Manipur government has approached a Gujarat-based company for procuring drones required for spraying nano-fertilizers. The Chief Minister further assured that government will strive its best to fulfill Prime Minister Modi's vision 
to double farmers' income. He said state government has earmarked 80 crore rupees in the budget to procure rice produced local farmers in order to replace the imported rice for distribution to beneficiaries under National Food Security Act. I think a city mirror, I did hide in a luxury of a computer zooming and luxury. A quid a giddy, a quiggy, a pie push in a hand. Scientific or may they are more civilized than us. Carmina, Lukako, Nasiki, Soroka, Turian, and the river, garbage may am chair. You couldn't get Lukako, they remember. You couldn't get you couldn't get Kongham, toilet later member. You couldn't get sing reserve to one of a pokey later member. Nasi de Punum of the Loy Mangre. A quizzy civilization of Mataka Kamana, the Mangabna, the women in Halini. A quiggy culture, a Makanga, Karam culture, me Tanadabi, me Kariam Nabi, me Natobasi, no Nabogi, nature, a Makaki, Labuna, Aduna quiz, Manning the Halai. If I put a solemn but to cut them maintained over the quay, King Mungambapur. Taking part in the event, Agriculture Minister Thung Ambiswajit urged farmers not to depend on chemical fertilizers too much as these are hazardous for health. He assured that experts of the Agriculture Department are gearing up to present demonstrations to farmers of every district on natural farming, organic farming, chemical fertilizer farming and nano fertilizer farming. He added that the demonstration programs will be held post-harvest season this year in collaboration with Minor Irrigation Department. The case Mangi, Yelio Posi, Pomanche, second installment, the Pashanduna, Taurakani and Jabani, the Matangi and the Kilaka, the Pokisu, UC, Clarence, Hadabigal, Summit Taure, the Gopashadam, Pirani, Havika, two by good information, Lere, Silakumatam, the Sudum, Lemhova, Walova, Mayam, Punamashing, Loyam, Pananabaki, Agriculture Department, Quiji, Administrative Secretary Su, and Obama Lakogalun and Aquisiamaga, Aquisabsana, Agriculture Department, and Lajere, Havsimba, Tamsaka. Residents of 91 villages in Sugnu today carried out protest demonstration at Sugnu Bazaar demanding status quo of their boundaries during the limitation. They also demanded to keep all the government offices in Kakching district and not to shift them to Chandal village district. 91 village Sugnu Protection Committee organized a protest meet where several decisions were taken. Protesting villages, however, could not meet the OC and SDP of Sugnu Police Station when they went to apprise them for the demands. The agitated villages erased signboards bearing Chandal District and Sugnu Market. Speaking on a sideline, committee convener Khaidem Ibomcha said, neither villages nor government offices located in Sugnu should be transferred in Chandal District. He said that a memorandum will also be submitted to Chief Minister, Revenue Minister, Travel Affairs and Health Department Minister, Sugnu MLA, Chandal MLA and Kakching DC in this regard. Chanden district ki delimitation tarupo matam da hariba 91 bile Sugnu ose sokpa yaroi. Kakching district ki manung da laiba government ki department office samata atopa district to on ba yaroi hai basya ngasi ki mipam na convener ki thau puba mo oina masi yabang amo hai na Lebang Mayam that eight Hamzari, Manipu Gomengi, Mapam Dakoina Hajari, Sugunu Pulisna, Kole Hariba, Kun Kunsaga Mapan, Bilesa Si, Sandel Loino, Thai, Hariba Si, Karaibu Batsumi, Lale Haibado, Manipu Gomena, Atubu Matamda, Press Mediagi, Tonga, Shendok Pigadavani. Thorcham village under Chakpi Karung subdivision of Chandal district is still deprived of electricity even though government has been proclaiming to provide electricity to every household by 2022. The village reportedly received electricity for just one month in 2015. Currently, the villagers are relying on solar energy and candles to lit their houses. Villagers ask whether government's promise of providing electricity to every household by this year will be fulfilled only on documents and not in reality. A team of journalists visited Torchom village recently and found only few irregular electric poles with wires indicating work done in an inefficient manner. Not only that, the transformer was laying on the ground with tall grasses growing around it. Speaking to media persons, Chief of Thorcham Village R. L. Moal said that the village, which is in Chandal District, a district which has been recognized by Indian government as an aspirational district, is still lagging behind in many aspects. 
He expressed disappointment that a district which is frequented by union ministers and other high-ranking officers to hold review meetings is being deprived of electricity, even though power line was laid out in 2015. He said the village received electricity for just a month in 2015 before it was disrupted by a heavy storm and relevant authorities never bothered to restore it. Highlighting the applies, RL Mall urged the government and the relevant departments to restore power supply in Thorcham village before the upcoming Christmas. Electric enjoyment of the Tamani Kak Tauroga 2015 cyclone effect Matamaduda Shekin Taba transformer se sumkin thaya duga mai su disconnect oira me makha da adu dudagi hauna khoina khoi gi village authority mayam na khoi gi higher authority da application mayam si tawjara me adubu hujik phobudi mai yaubi bisi leitri yaraga di christmas mamanga sida khoi mai se government gi mateng oina yohan bi naba ai request tawjari akhoi na wa ba se nungdang da mai se lak ta bani na jungle khatang ni na nungdang da thok pasu yam pharak yam taaye yaraga di khra thu ba matung sida light se phanghani phanghan Sivsena Manipur State Unit led by Moirang Temtombi today submitted an official letter to Chief Minister N. Birin proclaiming party support to BJP government in Manipur. The Sivsena team also submitted similar official letter expressing their support to BJP government in Manipur to the Governor Laganeshin and BJP Manipur Pradesh President Sarda. Briefing media office of Sivsena Manipur State Unit at Babupara in Imfa today, Moirangtem Tombi asserted that the move to support the BJP government in Manipur came after taking due permission from national party leaders. On the sidelines of submitting the support letter, the Sivsena team also urged the chief minister to recreate job opportunities for state and youth in the state from micro small industry level. Honorable Mr. Daina supported later CP Uganda. My am Harawe. Mr. Sinjaraway, learn to learn the governor Gipire, Isali B. Makwegi, BJP President, Sarah David Pire, I Hyang Se. In fact, Haduk Sakodoni, Delida, Hana Lerimba, Quiggy, Pari Purigi Lerimba, Quick Shaki Kongan Mutanaba, Lady Bataxi Dai Koi, Kari Toroga Koi, Community, my Amsin Sipunsen, Nurgam Manipur Sikamna, Mang Satko the Gaiba Dugi Wakalonda, I JP Nandaji, Zagat Prasad Nandaji, Unagani, Magi Ayab Lorga, Home Minister Unurna Mohona Zagani. On the note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring in updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. It's a moment famous. Memories forever. It is a collection of such memories that write the story of life. Hatil. Live and relive. Welcome you all to UNACO School Channel in Fall East. An exclusive co-educational residential school located on a sprawling 50 acres campus just 24 kilometers away from Imphal City. The school will be affiliated to CBSE New Delhi. Academic session will begin on 1st April 2023 for classes 4 to 8. Government of Manipur Directorate of Handloom and Textiles Money Text Manipur International Textile Expo 2022. Lakliba November Gitarik Manga Dagi Taraga Mari Fauba Arban Hat Nilakutida Pantoka Doliba Money Text 2022 Edition Gidamak Saruk Yabiningba Weavers Artisans Handloom Societies Textiles Entrepreneurs Amadi Enterprise Company Singna Aikoi website www.moneytext.in the Lakliba October Gitarik Taraga Nitoi Dagi Kungataruk Fauge Manunga Online Registration Tawirnaba Pogjen Jedi
Presto Personalized Wonders Imphal da nauna hangdok chari Haidi basida Personalized Gifts Corporate Gifts Awards and Mementos Home Decor Office Rubber Stamp na chingba Potlam Singh Mapham asi da phangdi gani Ngasi Maglang Singh bira u Telegrass Enterprises Presto Thangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong Imphal Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back after the break in watching Prime Time English News. India added 1,326 new COVID-19 cases, 1,723 recoveries and 8 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of UN Minister of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case load stands at 17,000. 912. Total recoveries are 4 crore 41 lakh 6656. Recovery rate stands at 98.78 percent. Debt toll reaches 5 lakh 29,024. Over 219 crore 63 lakh doses of COVID 19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Manipur reported two new positive cases of COVID 19 in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID 19 Common Control Room, coronavirus has affected 1 lakh 39,885 people. Death toll remains at 2,149. Recovered and active cases have not been updated till the time of filing this report. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 63 crores, 55 lakh, 38,000 people. It has claimed above 65 lakh, 94,000 people and recoveries are above 61 crore, 47 lakh, 36,000. USA has the highest active cases above 13 lakh, 53,000 in the world. Janim successfully carried out kidney transplantation on a woman whose kidney failed again post a transplant done in Delhi in 2014. The hospital carried out transplantation on October 22nd. Speaking to media, Janim's director, Professor L. Debin, said the 32-year-old patient underwent a kidney transplant in a hospital in New Delhi in 2014, but her kidney suffered failure in 2018, and since then, she has been on dialysis for over a year until the recent transplantation with kidney donated by her sister. Professor L. Devin said that a kidney transplant was done under CMHT scheme. Responding to Impact News query, Professor Devin said, Jenim's hospital has successfully conducted kidney transplant on 15 patients so far and many patients are in the waiting list. He said selection of patients is carried out in a transparent manner and there is no room for corruption. Professor L. Debent also mentioned that a non-local admitted by Hengang police after he was found in an unconscious state has fully recuperated and will be handed over to Hengang police station at the earliest. The Marigi Matunda, Yarakta with the Gi Masi dialysis, Hanjin Nanjana, or Enra Quay histories, Libera Quedagi, Zenim Salajeriba, Quigi renal transplant, Tim Masiga, Pau Ponaza with the Gi, Quig Anirak Shuba, transplant wena, Oitangorum, the Mukwena, Habsavani, Sinatakodi, Yet Tangudu, Felu Regasu, Oitangasi, Sumdamu, transplant to Wayai, Habigi Wapunduni, Aquinal transplancy, Tokramatuk Zamazi successfully, Disar Stokre, Quena Tauzikriba, Kes Taraga, Marisidi. Kidney Amayarak Tabada, Magi Light, Magi Punsida, Hanbuina, Quigi, Dinal Transplant, Tauzabani, Adubu, October Gitam Kunito is a Toki, Asina, Anirak Shubuina, Kinisi Transplant, Tobusida, Quena, Mayamsi, the Masigi Idiasi, Puna Leminanaba, Quena Wakan Tabzabani, Amuk Torubusina, a Quigi Punsisi Loire, Masini Yarakta, the Hyman Singma Wakal Tadopu, any problem, a Quigi Dinal Tim, Quisigatana view, Matam Never Kibita, Quen Mayamgi, Tonsi Lang Hangeri. District Mental Health Program, District Health Society in Fall East, raised awareness on World Mental Health Day 2022 on Make Mental Health and Wellbeing for All a Global Priority Theme at Biramangal College Sawambong in Imphal East District today. Speaking on the occasion, District Nodal Officer Imphal East District Mental Health Program Dr. M. A. Sabir said that they aim to create awareness among students and young people about mental health. He added that 
Similar awareness programs will also be carried out in selected health and wellness centers at block level for ASHA workers and CSOs. He maintained that ASHA workers will assist in identifying persons with mental illnesses for treatment in mental health unit of Konok Kongnangkong Urban Primary Center, Additional Deputy Commissioner of Imphal East, Ngangbam Jogendra Kumancha, Principal of Biramangal College, Dr. Ahong Sambam Surenjit, CMO Imphal East, Dr. Laurembam Indira, CEO Kam Member Secretary Manipur State Mental Health Authority, Dr. Kangembam Robindro, students and teachers of the college attended the program. Block block the Imphal East, my king procedure Karam Chatharakini. Health and Wellness Centers Kharam so khoi na khangat laga laizara bani Hai riba Health and Wellness Centers sing da Asha Worker sing CHO sing khangat laga ma khoi na imung manung da community di chat pa matam da mental illness na riba mi sing se pukhala aga ay khoi gi ma pham da put put hora aga ay khoi gi District Mental Health Unit ama konok khong naang khong upper primary health center da laizai adu gi du da purak na ba madu gi du pura aga khoi na mohoi gi maram cha ba treatment ama pi ba ngam na ba gi pandam da ni khoi na ngasi NCD Clinic CHC Gwangwe under District Health Society Imphal West today observed World Stroke Day on the theme Precious Time. CMO Imphal West Dr. LJ Kumar and Senior Neurophysician Manipur Health Services Dr. Longthombam Hemanta Kumar graced the event. Awareness on stroke focusing on its importance of early signs, detection, and prevention of risk factors at individual and community level at the periphery areas were highlighted at the program. Consultation services were given to post-stroke patients under the CHC. CMHD cards under Chief Minister Gihakshil Giteng Bank scheme were distributed to people living with HIV in Thaupal district. During a program jointly organized by district administration to Thaupal and MNP Plus. Manipur at conference hall of Thaubal DC today. Deputy Commissioner Ahantem Subhas handed over CMHD card to 20 individuals. Rotary Club of Imphal RID 3240 celebrated its 50th Foundation Day by organizing various community-based service projects in Imphal today. A blood donation camp was also held at American Oncology Institute, Babinan Speciality Hospital, Sajiwa, Imphal East District. Club members and volunteers donated about 27 units of blood at the camp. Rotary and Pramod Jaswal, president of Rotary Club of Imphal, who has donated blood for the 46 times, appeal to voluntar voluntarily donate blood to save lives and help needy patients. He said that a club which was founded on 31st October 1973 will be celebrating 50 years of social service by holding year-long service projects from today until 31st October next year as Golden Jubilee year in 2022-23. The club also provided eggs on the Rotary Egg Bank to three children homes, namely Yaibilan Children Home, Kaibi Sanapad, Imphal East District, and Child Care Institute, Kabole Kai Dulaland, Imphal West District, as well as provided lunch to students of Konsam Tomba and Sachi School, Kurai Chairin Thong, to mark the Foundation Day celebrations. Month-long special campaign 2.0 concluded today at Zubli Hall of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, RIMS Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, Director of RIMS, Professor L. Ranjit, highlighted about various changes in RIMS since its establishment in 1977. He also loaded the efforts of all directors of the institute in bringing those changes. All Manipur Elementary School Teachers Association Amesta observed World Teachers Day at Amesta Zoned 2 Imphal East today. Ketrigao MLA Sheikh Nurul Hassan and Zonal Education Officer Zone 2 Imphal East M. Prem Chandra graced the event. A brochure of Amesta was also released on the occasion. All Manipur Elementary School Teachers Association, Samna Emesta, John Tuharaga Kangne, Masi, all Manipur Yoiba, Teachers Body De Filetoba, Duga, Gui Manipur Yoina, EIPDF, and International Label Da, Filetoba, Luna Luna, International Label Da, EI, ID, Education International, Sweden Da, Headquarter, Ebasida, Filetoba, Adumba, Teachers Ki, Ozasing Yoiba, Toba, Sangsana Mani, all teachers say October, Gitarik Mangani, Dumbo Hundak, Nong Jingi, whether Equi Kudongsa, Dabakaragi, Sumi Tuo. 
District Legal Services Authority in Far West today organized an awareness program on the topic Pokso Act 2012 at Heritage Convent in Uripok. Speaking on the occasion, District and Session Judge of Imphal West, Aribam Guneshwar said Pokso Act provides legal protection to both boys and girls and children under the age of 18 will be protected or tried under Pokso. Emphasizing on instances of parents seeking justice under Pokso Act for the underage children engaging in elopment, Aribam Guneshwar discouraged people under 18 years from eloping. During the Program Zangolwen Haukip of District Legal Services Authority in Fal West. Additional SP of Imphal West Ratananga Sikpam also spoke about other facets of the POXO Act. Poxo I will see some some the hair with the Lupa Nupi Kaidava. For your IP CD Hana Rep Keska Harga Nupidan Victim with a city Nupa so Nupi so victim with Yava. Aduga, some of the IP CD Rep Kesta the Nupana accused or again Nupina the victim of a Sidana, Nupa so Nupi so victim of Yava. Aduga accused of Yava. Anova Makali Egne, Ado Masi, Hana is sexual offense, Rep Keska, Harry Sidi Hena, Kanba Egne, Du Masi Matang Sida, Hetanga, Hoi Manipur, the Hoi Customary. Customs Kahita, which are the biggest son of a top cigar, Katangi contradicts in the labor. Hana, she, Sahitra, Pangi, Makada, any sexual offense, Amal Labor Matamda, Oxway, Kimakada, special coordinacy, the Ma Wilds of Turkat Sera, Ponyway. Mori Good Committee kicked off two day Chavang Good Festival 2022 at Ganglam Luntual Ground in Mori today. The program began with Reverend Father Joseph Dale Parish performing holy rituals and chairman of Mori Good. Committee Victor Limthang cutting the ceremonial ribbon. Competitions on games and cultural performances of Cookie Tribe marked the first day of Good Festival. Governor Laganeshan sends warm greetings to the people of Manipur, especially people of Cookie Chin Mizo communities on joyous occasion of Good Festival 2022. In his message, the governor says, Good is considered the biggest festival among the Kuki Chin Mizu ethnic groups and it's celebrated as a post-harvest festival for thanksgiving and gratitude to the Almighty for a bountiful harvest. The, symbol, the festival symbolizes peace, harmony and unity rising above the barriers of caste, creed or religion. He wishes the spirit of good embraced one and all to strengthen the social fabric among more than ever and bring prosperity to all the communities in Manipur. Chief Minister Nongthom Mambirin also extends heartfelt greetings to the people of Manipur, especially the Kuki Chin Mizo, brethren on the auspicious occasion of Chavangkut. Stating that the spirit of Chavangkut is about sharing gratitude and harmonious coexistence, he called upon more and more people from all the communities to join and help in spreading the message of unity and peace. Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Thakchum Satya Bratta, also conveys heartiest greetings on occasion of Good Festival. Textiles, Commerce, Industry and Cooperation Minister named Chakibgin also conveys heartiest greetings and wishes to all the people of Manipur, particularly the Kukit Chin Mizu Brethren on the joyous and auspicious occasion of Good Festival 2022. She wished for the festival to spread the message of peace, harmony and love among all irrespective of caste, creed and religion. Water Resources and Relief and Disaster Management Minister Awang Bao Nyumai also sends warm greetings and regards to the people of Manipur, especially the Kuki Chin Mejo communities on the occasion of Chavangkut 2022. He wishes for the Festival of Harvest also form a platform to harness peace and harmony among the diverse ethnic communities of the state. Education Minister T.H. Basanta also conveys his heartiest greetings and warm wishes to the people of Manipur on the occasion of Good Festival. He wishes for the festival to spread the message of love, peace, prosperity and communal harmony among communities of Manipur to bring a prosperous Manipur that will move forward towards growth and development irrespective of all the differences.
Rural Development and Panchayati Raj and Mahot Minister Yumnam Kimchan also conveys Hot Yes Cook Festival greetings. Chairman of Hill ADS Committee, HAC Manipur Legislative Assembly, Dimganglung Gangme, IAS retired, also sends his best wishes to everyone celebrating Chibankut. He wishes joy, happiness, and unity among all the communities in Manipur. Lukanan Khetrimayum from Manipur backed the first runner up title of the 14th Mr. International Pageant held at the New Frontier Theatre in Kubo. Kujun city of Philippines yesterday. He also backed Mr. Drama World International title. Mr. International title 2022 went to Manuel Franco of Dominican Republic and second runner-up to Hesus Dirinot Guanipa of Venezuela. A total of 35 distinctively handsome young men from around the world contested in the pageant. 20-year-old Lukanan, who was also a filmmaker and had earlier won the Mr. India International and Ghana Mega Mr. Northeast titles was the youngest contestant in the pageant. Maniwood Club expresses happiness upon his achievement. An OTT platform of Manipur film producers named Malang Kaithil has been launched. Film Forum Manipur chairman Lai Mayum Surjikanta launched the OTT platform at the residence of Ojit Babu Ning Thaucham in DM College campus yesterday in the presence of eminent film directors and producers of Manipur film industry. Films like Iai Thakki Thambal, Maikum, Hapugi Mundrang, Vigo Life and others will be premiered on the platform starting November 5th. Along with the OTT platform Malang Kaithil YouTube channel, Malang Kaithil Facebook page and Instagram accounts were also launched on the occasion. BJP Manipur Pradesh President A. Sarda calls upon present generation to follow their forefathers' traditions and culture. She was speaking at the Ima Singda Khudol Tamba Chakaupa program organized by Kindness Manipur at Old Age Home in Langjinga Chauba yesterday. And in sports news, Union Education Ministry has signed an MOU with FIFA and All India Football Federation, AIFF, for the football for schools initiative in the country. Speaking at the event in Mumbai, Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan said that sports has been given a place of pride in new education policy. 2022 and a football for schools program espouses the spirit of it. He said that football is an immensely popular sport and the football for schools program uses it as a positive tool to inspire children and ensure their holistic development. Minister Pradhan further said that football for schools aims to empower 25 million young boys and girls in India through sports integrated learning. FIFA President Gaini Infatino and President All India Football Federation Kalyan Chobe signed the MOU on behalf of respective organizations. Juvenile club Tera Sapam Laidak and Kand Kadangband bid their opponents in today's league matches of the ongoing 11th K. Karnajit Singh Memorial Second Division Football League, sponsored by K. Karnajit Singh Memorial Trust. In the 14th league match played under the aegis of Imphal West District Football Association and YWC Ground, Malom Juvenile Club Tera Sapam Lairak beat Thao Thangmai Burn in 2 1. For the winners, Rojin and Sittal scored one goal each at 5th and 25th minutes. Lone goal of the losing team was scored by Mairaba at 35th minute. While in the 15th league match, Kant Kandangban defeated Isa Mayang Imphal in 3 2. For the winners, Derry Boy nated one goal at 8th minute and Dave Mitai scored two goals at 76th and 80th minute. For the losing team, Y Zingoldar and Serto Laban scored one goal each at 4th and 49th minute. Saipa Awang Sekmai will meet Soyo Sanjin Bum in the 16th minute and Juvenile Club Tera Sapam Laidak will face. Kan Kandangbam in the 17th minute on November 2. Major Karan Polo Club Kakwa and AR Polo team bid the opponents in today's match. The ongoing 36th and Hazari and Dr. N. Tomli State Polo Tournament being held under the aegis of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association at Imphal Polo Ground. 
in the eighth league match major karan polo club ka qua defeated urban polo team at 7-2 for the winners n premananda scored three goals th uh, santo scored two goals while and Pritam and S. Sadananda scored one goal each. While in the ninth league match, AR Polo team dropped KMM Riding School Singh Jamai in 11 0. For the winners, KH Chandra Kumar scored five goals, Riya Kat Ali scored three goals, KH Susilo scored two goals, and TH Premananda scored one goal. 29 teams from different parts of Manipur are competing in a tournament on knockout basis. Aikub Ning Thao Polo Club will face Manipur Police Sports Club, Team C, in the 10th league match and Tik Chum Polo Club will face Mairaba Polo Club in the 11th league match tomorrow. Thangta, the observation committee today conducted an awareness program at JAM Public School in Purabi as a part of the upcoming Thangta Day observation on November 15th. Founder of JM Public School, Wahengbam Badal Maitai, Chairman of Thangta Day's Observation Committee, Laitan Thim Dhamendro, President of Kimax, Neng Thaujam, Ajit Kumar Mangang, along with teachers of Thangta and students attended the program. Before we conclude, let's take a look at headlines once again. Manipur observes Rashtriya Ekta Divas National Unity Day 2022. Chief Minister Nupamba Bidin warns of extremists among bureaucrats. Congress leader Gathangam expresses confidence at Bharat Joro Yatra led by Rahul Gandhi will have great impact in upcoming 2024 general elections. Chief Minister Nomphomba Biren distributes farm missionaries to farmers under submission on agricultural mechanization urges farmers to utilize radicals to grow crops post levy harvest. And people of 91 villages in Subnu take out vegetation at Subnu Kaitha demanding status quo of their boundaries during the limitation. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Till then, good night and stay safe. Sky Hospital and Research Center Private Limited Ta Malim Sin Batunga Sakhang Naraba Cardiologist British Clinical Excellence Award Panglaba Dr. Shyam Kishore Lady King Bamgi Heart Ki OPD Ning Thao Kabadagi Thang